coach this morning. It's 8 a.m. and the time is five minutes to seven. And I do have 12 to 17 minute walk to the station. And I think um, I've allowed plenty of time. In 2019, I left Malaysia and what was previously unthinkable happened. You know, the coronavirus. The crisis that's taken most of our life by storm. And now we have inflation all around the world. Things are becoming more expensive. You know, homelessness and people constantly struggling. You know, now you've got civil war in Ukraine. There's so many things happening. Mass shooting in America and high cost of things in the UK. And oh yeah, my experience in Asia this time around, specifically in Singapore, hasn't been great. I'm taking to Malaysia. <sighs> I'm having this kind of feeling right now. You know, like when you have that burning feeling, like you just want to leave a place, right? That's how I'm feeling right now. Uh, I think my trip here in Singapore, it's clear. It hasn't been that amazing, isn't it? So I think it's best, like, you just leave. Do you know what I mean? Okay, so I'm getting my ticket now. And this is the company I'm using, it's the um, Act Express. Oh, it's so hot in Singapore. So the best way to cool down, head to 7-Eleven. Or if by any chance you see a vending machine that sells Milo, get it. If you visit Asia, you'll quickly notice, in Asia, there are three things people love. Yeah, going to the mall, the aircon, and of course, eating. And on this coach, this aircon is blasting. And I love it. Now we're picking our heads up, wondering when the well went dry, asking where it all went, take a step back. My Asian auntie on this coach, is struggling to find her seat and I'm willing to help her. Always. Always a pleasure. It should be there. There you go. So helping, helping the, yeah. <laughs> helping the auntie out. Of course, man. Always for the Malaysian auntie. Do you know, basically, why not? Phone out, taking picture, we're moving and off we go. Heading to Malaysia. The duration of the trip is around five to six hours. There are two ways to leave Singapore and enter Malaysia. You either fly, which is reasonably cheap, or you take the coach, which is extremely cheap, but it's long. Approaching the immigration side in Singapore, or mobile phone or camera must be switched off. Uh, going through immigration, so no photo. Right, heading back in, past immigration. A few minutes later, I'm through immigration on the Singapore side. And there's one thing I must say about Singapore immigration it's fast, it's efficient, and it's marvelous. And off we go again. Singapore over there. Malaysia over there. Singapore. Malaysia. I'm not going to leave here. Right, we've arrived at the Malaysian side of the immigration section and now we have to go through passport control before finally crossing the border. <laughs> the Malaysian way is gonna be mad, it's always slow. And then 
we're gonna catch the bus again to the other side right and then we're gonna put her back inside again i've done this before so i know crossing the border into malaysia can be so long i'm not joking changing my singapore dollars into a malaysia ringgit cheers thank you oh i'm good thank you cheers all right I'm gonna jump back on the bus and i was the last one for immigration right they were asking me a question uh, why you pack so much stuff i was like oh, i'm just coming from taiwan the contract wasn't good this this thing there you go Follow. Hey, got some malaysian money hell yeah, yeah. finally back in malaysia now stay tuned for the long duration and enjoy this beautiful scenery of malaysia Malaysia is one of the top countries when it comes to Hawaii. Yeah, baby. Wonder if all my bad decisions get accounted in the algorithms. No statistician could dissuade me from my bigger vision. I know my occupation's quite an unlikely place in this world to occupy and talk about upon a daily basis. Our information is predetermined by some biased business. We all in sermon to silicon that push our lovely neighbors. A quick stop at this packing lot before we continue our journey. I'm getting some snacks. I'm the, yeah, basically. I think I maybe we've got about 10 minutes. So just to stretch and buy some snacks and all that. And uh, yeah, no, it's such a good feeling. Like just coming to a place that you just feel like people are just so nice and friendly you know and that's the that's the beautiful thing about when you're traveling right oh, i do not want to be left behind here so i have to hurry up and head back oh that looks really nice so i'm gonna try one of that i love that smile guy love that yeah speaking of smile and that is one thing i think i didn't mention throughout my episode throughout the episode i've shot so far in singapore right the people wasn't smiling you go to the food cart the majority of them are not smiling at all it's shocking it's actually shocking yeah the friendliness of malaysians that what keeps me coming because here the people are genuinely friendly specifically in malay Finally, after many many years, I'm back. All right, good right, happy with that coach. Uh, I think it's very comfy. It's a lot of neck rooms as well, and it's cheap. Although it would take you time to get to places, but it works, you know. And uh, I think um, I think that's one of the best way, like to you know, move from one country to another, especially when the opportunity is there. When it's a uh, a line for that it's, it's brilliant the road in Kuala Lumpur like oh, they say Malaysia it's pretty smooth like right? literally there's no pothole literally there's no bumps and puddles you have to go through not all it's pretty pretty comfortable in the chair I was sitting on it's so spacious I can have a lot of leg room to stretch and all that it's brilliant so this station I've been here before I'm going to go downstairs and catch a train to central from central I'll take the monorail to Bukibinta and then yeah I think I'm and also the good thing is I am also like, I think 25 minute early yeah it's it's amazing it's absolutely fantastic so I love that it's brilliant so as you can see all the travelers have just arrived so that's wonderful right so yeah I'm happy to be back in Kuala Lumpur but my time here is not going to be that long so sad I won't be visiting Indonesia but the next time I'll come to, to Asia definitely Indonesia and Thailand and yeah I think in this country I'm going to stick by them but I don't think I will ever go back to Singapore sorry for a very long time I'm not going to travel there again I've seen everything and the vibe wasn't there I don't want to repeat myself over and over 
And that's it, man. I don't want to be too, too disrespectful. That's my experience.